Not much life, so this is sort of a Hail Mary. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> 2.4. Not good. You have to have your baby. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny. <laughs> Don't mess up. <laughs> We've made some lemonades out of that lemon. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Good morning. Looks like we got a couple little surprises this morning. It's nice to come in and they're with their babies. All right, I'm gonna move them and make sure they've had a drink. They're wanderers, aren't they, Mom? She's got one on one side of the curb and one on the other. You don't know which side to go on. Yeah. I just found a third one. She had three, but this one's, I thought maybe it wasn't alive. It is barely alive, but really cold and soaking wet. So she left it for whatever reason. So before I move them, I'm gonna start warming this lamb up. Hopefully I give it a fighting chance. Stay here, little nugget. I know. It's, she's, are you a she or he? He is not looking too promising, but we are going to try. All right. All right, so I put the baby in, pla in a plastic bag, or in my case, a big glove. Don't you die. You're still alive. Don't you die. And I'm going to soak her, him in not hot, not cold water. Very, very warm. Like, same as... Inside mom is logic. And I don't even have to take his temperature to know that that he is uh, dangerously cold. Hey, why did mommy leave you? Did she think you were already gone? This might be for nothing, but we've seen miracles happen, haven't we? Yes, we have. Just give you a little lamb bath. If I can get him warmed up and give him a dextrose treatment and then put him on the put him in the warming box, uh, he's got definitely got a fighting chance, but he's so cold. But he's got a heartbeat. You got a heartbeat? I don't quit trying because I'm stubborn. Okay, it's been quite a while just researching what to do next because I forget between every lambing. Um, I am gonna do a dextrose treatment. Here. Hey, buddy. But I'm going to wrap you up first. Keep you warm. Okay. Expiry date is what? 2023 June. Perfect. And I'm actually using um, a good friend of mine. So I usually use the... Uh, resource put out by our provincial extension sheep extension um and it's a it's a it's a diluted 20 percent uh mix but peers of mine she does hers a little bit different she doesn't dilute it she does a five to six mil dextrose injection uh it works better for her than the diluted 30 mil with less risk of infection anyway she said it works quicker and it's less ch chance of infection i'm like i am all about that and you just put it an inch to the side and an inch below to the side and below the belly button. So it won't be a very big injection. But I like this better than remembering math on how to dilute it. So I was all about this. So let's hope it works. Always talk to your vet. Don't follow me. I'm actually going to give you six mils. Just three and three. 
it's easier with that. Okay, let's see here, buddy. Not much life, so this is sort of a Hail Mary, but... Sort of a Hail Mary. Yeah. Yeah. And don't worry about hitting organs, you won't. This stuff's amazing. It's dextrose is just, I guess, sugar. Because now they're, I always say this word wrong, hypoglycemic, so you have to get their sugar up. I guess I never took your time, but I'm going to say we're easily not registering, but I will take your time now. Always take your temp first. I'm really tired, guys. My brain is not firing. But I better just double check. Know where we started from. And I'm working in Fahrenheit right now, and that messes me up. But it has me 98.6 in Fahrenheit. Shh, 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 shh. You already know where this is going. <gasps> what? Hi. Yeah. So it's not even reg She's. He's not even registering. Yeah, you're fine. We're going to get you all more. Hi. We're going to get you all warmed up. You just stay put. Don't be running away on me. Alright, let's do you on top. Or towel. Maybe towel. Let nature do its thing. If it's meant to be, it will be. Fun story, this mama had another little tiny itty bitty lamb and left it, stood beside it, looked at it, didn't lick it off so it's really cold so it's, I just did the exact same thing to him, her, that I did with the first lamb this morning. So there's two in warming boxes in there but she might be having another one so I'm just going to check. Oh they're so cute, oh my god. Tiny. 
think that's it. Just three, which is... Beautiful. And milk. Oh, you two are so cute. Oh, it's so small. Ah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some more straw from them. And the reason why I brought this one up is she was really struggling to get up. So sure enough, she's probably gonna come down with preg talk. So I'm gonna check her blood, likely induced. She's got a nice full udder. Uh, so I would imagine those lambs are mature enough. We're only a couple days away from the due date. What day is it today? 11th, yeah, two days, they're doing two days. And I'm also gonna induce her because she's on her feet and we need to get those babies out while they're on their feet. That is, I think, the trick. Because those lambs I have in the warming room are triplets, I'll likely just keep them out. I'll keep them out, get them, hopefully, we'll see if they live, keep them out, nurse them back to health, and put them with the other two, uh, the twins that I saved a week ago. This is our little, second little lamb that I put in here. And look at this. I haven't checked the temp yet, but. Warm mouth, really good sucking reflex. Would you like me to check your temp? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, hi. Are you talking? Talking's good. I should know I do a lot of it. <gasps> well, you're awake. Hello. How are you? No friggin' way. You guys, it's only been like, it's not even an hour. Half an hour? Oh, hello. Hi. Okay, let's take some temps, shall we? All right, lamb number one. 99.3, has to be 98.6. Hi. Are you hungry? So we can feed baby number one. I think it's a boy. I think they're both boys. And let's check this baby. And baby number two is over 100. Yay. So our warming trick did the work, did the job. That dextrose without diluting it was amazing. You guys, let's see if they'll drink. Success. <laughs> Hi, honey. Back from the dead. Yeah. Oh, you're so much more alert. Can you believe this is the same lamb? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. You want me to tube ya? Okay. No dice on this one, but that's not surprising as to what condition he was in, but he's perky. Okay, let's get a tube in you. So I found the trick with my tube here is to run hot water through it and all over this hose and it makes it really pliable. And then I'm able to get it in a lot easier. There you go. I'm only going to give her... Oh, I could give her 100 probably. You're almost done. That's it! That's it! You've got your first drink. There you go. Can you believe that? Can you believe that's the same lamb? Oh. Wow. They are, you can really work miracles on cold lambs. It's really insane. Once you know all the tricks, once you know the tricks, yes. And you want it to live, obviously. All right, let's put you back in here. Or do you want to be with your new friend? Do you want to be with your new friend? Say hi to your buddy. Say hi, buddy. I'm your new friend. Now we have some friends. I cannot believe that. I can't believe that.
I thought I saw something in my cameras. Stealer. Mama. Babies. How about you ladies? Go that way. People have been asking me where I've been getting uh, my tester kit. I got mine from my vet. Two point four, not good. Okay, this is a treat, and I'm inducing. I'm inducing today. She is close enough. Okay, you guys have seen me treat a million times. I won't make you watch it all. I'm very excited, you guys. I finally did something that I keep saying I'm gonna do, and I never do. Hold, please. <laughs> this is very exciting. It's like one of those things I've had on my to-do list for. I bought this iPad before my last lambing. All right, I'm going to tag the little lambs from yesterday in case tomorrow is a gong show. So far today, since the ones you've seen, I think I'm up to date with you guys, have been, it's been quiet. There hasn't been any more. Um, I was able to move my little saves from this morning. I put sweaters on them and they are in the uh, bottle pen. So you can hear them kind of yipping at me because they can, they can hear me. I was having some Bluetooth technical difficulty because Bluetooth is the bane of my existence. Hey, buddy. Seven. Sweet. I'm all on my iPad. Life is good. <laughs> Hi. Hi, babies. Yes. Oh, you're fine. You are so cute. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Okay. How about you there, gum? Oh, come here. Oh my goodness, you are so good. You're so freaking cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Hi. Oh. Good morning. I sort of slept in, but hear me out. The time changed and I kind of forgot about it. So I looked at my clock beside my bed and I'm like, 
Oh, it's like four o'clock, perfect. Got up, grabbed my phone, and it said five o'clock, and I had a little bit of a heart attack. I'm like, wait a minute, the sheep don't know it's five o'clock. Good morning. It is nice to be loved, but they're gonna have a nanny today. We're gonna get that set up. Yeah, today's the day. They take, it takes way too long to feed bottles, so I was out here till like nine o'clock last night. Oh boy, that was really fun. She laid down right beside the lamb. Sometimes they run away and that's how the first one gets forgotten. She's a good mom. Alright, lady. How are we feeling this morning? Okay, this is day two. And I'm hoping tomorrow she will lamb. I induced her yesterday morning. Because she's at a 2.4 ketone level and I'm not waiting for her to get worse. She has been eating still, and I've been able to get her up, so that's good. She seems content. Mm. Not the greatest of smells. Just keeping an eye on mom. She's lambing at her second. Have to have your baby. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. What's more for you? She's eating awesome. That's good. We have a chance.
Oh. I love you. Can I just see if you got another one in here? That's it. Good girl. She looks perfect. Yes, good girl. Good girl. You have huge mammaries. They're huge. Is your baby's going to be able to latch on? I don't know. Look. Don't mess up. <laughs> Look at that. That's gross. Yeah. I just hope it's not its abdomen. Yeah. I kind of wonder if it is. Got it? Yep. That's got say. Eh? I don't know. Why? It's so nice. Hey, buddy. What do you look like? Hi. Fine. Girl down there at the gate, I'm loving her knife. Oh, that's that prolapse, you. Oh. I don't know, like I treated her for, um... Infection? No, well, yeah, for, yeah. uh, retained placenta, and then she dropped it on day four, or three, four, three, I don't know. She's... But she keeps pushing, like she's still got stuff in her, but I checked her and there's, so I don't know. It is, uh... Later in the day, since I last saw you guys, and Mama, that had the twins the last time I saw you, you will recognize that these are not her twins. Uh, Mark had come in, actually, to grab me right after they were born. I dipped them, I left them with Mom, I made sure they looked okay. Mom can lick them off for a little while and get them kind of up and going, and then I'll come in with some colostrum in the next half hour, so no big deal. We had to fill the bin across the road. Uh, the market lambs were out of corn. And it's kind of a process because we have to unhook tractors because tractors are on snow blowers and all the things. Mark only has one really good hand, so I have to sort of try to help. Anyway, it took a little longer than half an hour. Might, might have taken an hour by the time I got back. The lambs were flat. They were dead, gone. Like, no, nothing. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, you guys saw those lambs. They looked good. Um, the only thing, the one lamb had a weird thing going on with its navel. Like it almost looked like intestine, but I couldn't really tell. So I treated it as if it was a navel. I dipped it and everything, but both of them dead. So I don't know what happened, but I grabbed the Pregtox lambs that I, I had just finished training on the milk machine. So I grabbed them real quick and look, they're, they're on mum. <laughs> So that was a uh, kind of a nice save. She has a ton of milk. Actually, her teats are so big. I, I took the, uh, I have a little sheep milker. So I actually got a full bottle out of one side. So she's well endowed. Are you gonna get up for your babies? I'm just really happy she accepted the lambs. I'm not your mummy anymore, you have a mummy. And then the afternoon, I've just been like kind of running around here getting chores done and everybody bedded. The barn is a mess and Carissa comes home tonight like tomorrow morning she'll be in here and I feel really bad because she leaves the barn really nice and like there's straw and feed all over the floor <laughs> but I I feel like I've just been running around um, saving babies and it's not ideal for lambing you w want them to be able to just be good anyway that's our little disappointment but we've made uh, we've made some lemonades out of that lemon